Hello guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can read inputs from your terminal in your script. So to get input from the keyboard, you use read command. The read command takes input from the keyboard and assigns it to a variable. So let's see how we can use it. So for example, I want to allow the user to enter some names. So I will uh, just write, for example, first of all, uh, echo, and then I will uh, just print some uh, text, for example, enter names or name, right? And then I want to allow the user to enter the name. So for that, I can use a command called read. And then whatever variable name I write after this read command, your input will be saved in this variable. Okay, so for example, I write the variable name name, then your input will be saved inside this name variable. Now I want to print this variable, so I can just uh, write echo, and then uh, I can just write uh, entered name, and then the variable, so use dollar symbol and the variable name as we have seen in the last video. So let's run the script and let's see what happens. So it asks me for entering the name and I enter some name, for example, Max, and then press enter. And then it says entered name is Max, which is totally fine, right? So whenever you want to take an input from the terminal, use read command. Now, for example, you want to enter multiple uh, uh, variables in a same read command you can just do that also so for example i want the user to enter multiple names so i will just uh, edit this text to enter names and then instead of using one variable i can use for example name one and then space name two let me just correct name two and then space name three and so on right so whenever you want the user to input multiple variables, just write the variable and then separate it by the space. Another variable, separate it by the space and then another variable. And to print these names, you can just print it like you do normally. So for example, names and then first name is name one and then comma for example and then uh, once again name two and then comma and then print the variable name three okay so let's save the code and let's run the script once again and then uh, enter the name so for entering the name for example i write max don't press enter here just enter the second name for example tom and john i uh, i entered three names here right and then print enter and then it prints uh, names and then whatever names i have entered here right now for example if you want to enter the input on the same line as uh, you printed this uh, echo string on then how you can uh, do this so for example i'm going to run this example once again and you can see it prints this string using echo and then i can see the prompt on the next line now sometimes i want to do it on the same line as this string right so how i can do this so let me remove everything here and let's say i want to allow the user to enter his username right so i can just write read and there is a flag called uh, minus p or p flag which allows us to enter uh, the you know input on the same prompt or same line right so for example i will just write uh, user name here and then i can take the user input for example user var for user variable right so this will allow me to enter the input on the same line right and to echo this i can just write echo and then uh, whatever the username is so for example i will just write the same uh, 
uh, text here and then the variable name which is user var okay and let me uh, run the script once again and then it asks me the username for example my user and then press enter and it prints the username now sometimes you also want to make uh, this input silent silent means for example you want to allow the user to enter his password and uh, the password you cannot show for example right so you don't want to show what the user is typing then you can use a flag called s s for flag right so let me just show you what i mean so for with this read you just add a s flag and then a p flag and then for example this is a password okay so just write password and then uh, just change the variable name for example pass variable and then we will just uh, print our password okay so if you want you uh, you know skip this you can skip this line because you don't want to show whatever password user have entered but this uh, input will be silent and let me show you what uh, i mean by silent is so let me run the script and i will uh, just enter the username for example my user and then it asks me for the password i enter the password one two three four five but it doesn't show on this terminal but it's sto it's stored in this variable right so whenever you press enter you can see the password using this line of uh, echo command the password is shown here which is one two three four five which i have printed but in here i also can see that this line is printed on the same line as the password line so i for to solve this problem i can just write echo here with no string right and let me run the script once again so username my user and password once again one two three four five but it doesn't show on the terminal and when i press enter it shows everything so username and password like this now for example you want to uh, allow the user to enter multiple inputs and you want to save those input inside uh, an array so you can do that also and for that you use a flag called minus a so let me just remove everything here and i will just say echo and then i will just say enter names for example enter names and uh, then i can just write read and then minus a which uh, tells this script to read an array right so whatever variable name you give here for example names it will be uh, like an array okay so to print those names i can just write echo once again so just write echo and then for example names and then whatever names you have uh, entered so i can extract them like an array so to extend extract an array you can just uh, write the variable name and the index of the array so for example at zeroth index there will be a first name but to print this variable you just need to surround it by a curly bracket so just give a curly bracket like this and you can uh, you know extract all the index like this so next will be index 1 and index 2 and index 3 and so on right for example for now i just want to extract uh, first two uh, elements of an array right so let me just run the script once again and name once again for example tom and max and then press enter and it shows us the names so you can extract those input as an array also using this minus a flag now i just want to show you one last trick here so for example i just want the user to enter name normally 
and I will just remove these inputs like this and for example I just write read here with no uh, variable here after read command so what happens when you write read command and no variable after this so what happens is whenever you write read and uh, without any variable after read command the input goes into a built-in variable called reply so if you uh, just write here dollar and then reply then you will be able to see your input even without your variable name so the default uh, variable in which your input goes is this reply variable right so let me clear the terminal here and now uh, let me run the script again so run the script and for example i write some name here once again max and then press enter and it prints the name whatever i have entered so by default your input goes in this built-in variable called reply so in this way you can uh, read variables in your script using terminal i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now